Hey ladies and gentlemen, Stephen here from Rata Lessons. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel and watching my videos. It means a lot to me. And in this episode, we're going to be taking a closer look at a fragrance by the company YVR8 1958. This one is called Lessons de Presence, so stay tuned. This fragrance was released just this year, and this is a darker iteration of the original YVR8 1958, which is called Lessons de Lessons. So this one is called Lessons de Presence, or Presence. Now, with this one, it was a heavy citrus-based scent. I did a review of it. If you are interested in checking it out, I will be leaving links down below. As far as the company goes, YVR8, it is the initials of the perfumer, Ivo von Regteren Altena, 1958 is the year in which he was born. And this this fragrance was a successful Kickstarter campaign. Um, I have both of them here for reference. This is the newer iteration. I find it to be a little bit darker with the inclusion of some spice notes. Let's go ahead and start off the review by taking a closer look at the presentation. Firstly, I wanted to show you this sleeve. This uh, surrounds the box. Just your information here. YVRA at the top. And here is the actual box. I like how it's a little bit darker and the darkness of the liquid and the juice and the smell is reflected in the presentation. Really nice attention to detail. This is also uh, textured a bit. You open it up. Again, cool graphic on the inside. Little booklet tells you some information about the fragrance. Even has YVRA printed on the inside here. And then here's the bottle with a comparison to the original. Now the original is much lighter and here the colors were simply inverted. The cap does not click into place. Although it is a snug fit, you can pick this one up from the cap. You have all of the notes on the back, so feel free to pause your screen right now if you would like to read it better. And the spray on this one is a bit on the narrow side, but it really gets the job done. It's a smell that counts. Let's go ahead and continue with the smell. Now, the brightness of the original is attributed to the notes of bergamot and vetiver. And with this one, I do get a lot of that citrus right off the top. And it's very bright, it's effervescent, it has a crispness to it. But the vetiver becomes a little bit darker. And I think um, when we've sampled fragrances in the community, we've seen that a vetiver uh, covers a wide range of different smells. You can have something very bright and clean, like Mugler Cologne, or it could be a little bit on the darker side, like Lalique's Encre Noir. This is a happy medium between the two. It's not too bright, but it's not too dark. There's also a note of patchouli in here with some added black pepper, and I believe it's from Madagascar. It is from Madagascar. So not only does it contain those brighter nuances, but it also has a darkness to it as well. Now, I love wearing the original in the summertime. With this one, I'm a little bit conflicted because it's still bright and citrusy, but it has that dark component to it that makes it a little bit more mysterious and enigmatic. So I don't know if I can necessarily say that this is a powerhouse for the summer, but I would recommend it for summer nights. I would also recommend this one for the intermediary seasons, meaning the spring and the fall. Not too cold, not too hot. All in all, I think this is a really nice reinterpretation of the original, all the while adhering to the DNA and the familiar elements from the original. If you've tried this, you are bound to love this one. If you like this exclusively because it's such a bright, fresh summer scent, I would recommend you sample this one before you buy it because it is on the darker side. But if you wanted a darker iteration of this one, it's a no-brainer. I mean, it's such a great scent. The original, I think, was perfect for the summer. This one, it's one of those scents that you have to try to see Am I going to like this one? If you're a fan of pepper, if you're a fan of spicy notes, cardamom, dark vetiver, but a brightness uh, attributed to the uh, notes of citrus, I think you're gonna like this one. All in all, I think it's a wonderful scent. I will be leaving links for purchase down below to where you can check it out. Uh, excellent addition. I'm really excited to see what the perfumer has lined up for the next release. Let's go ahead and finish up the review by taking a closer look at my rating. Now, in terms of the uniqueness and the overall smell, this one is unique in the sense that it doesn't really smell like any other scent out there. There's only one other one that I've smelled that kind of reminds me of the original, and it's called Brioni. 
And this one, on the other hand, does make things kind of darker. So there's really no other scent out there that I could compare it to. And in terms of the overall smell, it's very pleasant. It's interesting how you can take some dark notes like pepper and vetiver and cardamom, some other spices, patchouli even. And uh, despite the darkness, there's still an accommodating nature to it. So, and I think that's of course because of the citrus, but it's a really unique scent. In terms of the longevity, it was okay. I got about six hours. In terms of projection, really good for the first two hours. It did become a skin scent on me at least at the fifth hour mark. Versatility, like I said, it's really good. I think it would work really well in the intermediary seasons. I would reserve this one for the nighttime. Anybody of any age can wear it. I think it's perfectly unisex. And I think you can wear this one casually. You can also wear this one dressed up in a shirt and tie or suit and tie or a really nice sundress. I think the presentation looks great, just like the original. The original presentation was also really nice. And a final verdict on this one, I love this scent. It hasn't become one of my favorites yet, this is one of my favorites. I've even included the original in one of my summer lists. I'm gonna to link to that video down below as well. This one, I need to spend a little bit more time with it, but I do love it. I think it's a wonderful scent. I mean, if you like the original, you are bound to like this one. So thank you all very much for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. It brings me great pleasure to be able to review fragrances that aren't talked about a lot in the community. If you watch my reviews, you know they run the gamut. I do cheapy fragrances. I recently reviewed Very Cool by Tommy Bahama, which is on the lower end, all the way up to fragrances that cost hundreds of dollars. And I love to just expand the archive and the catalog of information here on YouTube. And I want to thank you for being the recipients of that information. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That was my review. Very proud to have had the opportunity to review YVRA 1958 Lessons de Présence. And uh, if you have any experience with this scent, let me know, leave your comments down below. If you don't have any experience with this fragrance, I just want you to tell me what is your favorite summer fragrance or what is your favorite citrus based scent? Let me know, leave a comment down below. Also, don't forget to subscribe for future videos and remember to enable notifications by clicking on the bell. This way you never miss any of my future content. Thanks again for tuning in. We'll see you in the next episode. Take care.